Hey guys, this is Drew Craig with GearWire.com, and I'm back here for the home studio workshop with uh, Propeller Head Reason, and we have our Mackie Control Universal all synced up with our computer right now. Again, for hooking this up, just your MIDI out of your computer into the MIDI in of the Mackie Control, the MIDI out of the Mackie Control back into the MIDI in of the computer, and then you just bust it through in the program. Um, and then this thing should come to life. And we've been talking about how this works with different programs and how it works differently with different programs. One of my favorite programs to work with the Mackie Control is Propeller Head Reason, and you're about to see why. So we, we made this beat uh, in the last video with Reason. You know, nothing much, just a little jungle beat. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the different voices and sounds that I've created and really fortify them and tweak them out so that they sound as cool as they possibly can. Now the end result might be a little bit overkill, but remember this is for education so you guys at home can start to work uh, reason for the, the best that you, you know, it's because it can do a lot of different stuff with the controls. So let's, let's take a look at that. So with the Dr. Rex, I, first things first, I click on the little MIDI emblem next to the track and that basically gets the control synced up with just Dr. Rex. So I'm also going to solo that channel, so the only thing we're listening to is that channel. And uh, if we take a listen to that, it's our congas. But uh, you know, I'm going for a different approach on this track. I want uh, some really crazy sounding percussion. So first thing I'm going to do is, well, let's see what all the different, how everything's synced up. Now let's start with this knob right here, is the filter frequency. So you can hear it just basically is a, a low pass filter. And that can be changed to a bypass filter or a high pass filter. Um, the second knob is resonance. So already it's starting to sound a lot different, isn't it? Now as we move over, we have the filter envelope amount, which makes it sound pretty crazy when we get into the lower frequencies. This next knob is the octave. So we can go all the way up there to all the way down there. But I think I'm going to just keep that right in the middle for right now. Uh, moving right along, this allows you to pick the specific pitch of the sample outside of the octave. So this would be more, um, you can move it a third away or a fourth away distance wise, which is a little bit less than an octave, which is nice. Uh, moving over, this is our auto filter amount. You can also set this thing to be an automatic filter. And this knob controls the amount. Like how the distance basically of how much it sweeps the filter. That's what that controls. Now all the faders have been assigned to various different faders on the Dr. Rex. This one's the attack for the envelope, decay, sustain, release, and so on and so forth, it goes into the other filter. So basically you have complete control over all these different parameters. 